Hi, I'm Renetta, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fit a Venetian blind to your window. You'll need a few basic tools for this, so before you start, I'd recommend laying out your tools to ensure you have everything you need to hand. Our Venetian blind brackets come with various holes, allowing you to fit inside the recess, outside the recess, into the ceiling or into the wall. In this video, I'll be fitting the blind to the ceiling inside the window recess, but the process is similar for the other positions. The amount of material that can be removed varies from blind to blind, and not all blinds can be cut. So please be sure to check your product instructions before cutting. And remember, once your blind has been cut, it cannot be returned. So let's fix the brackets. Using a pencil, mark the position of the brackets and drill the holes. Fix the brackets in place using suitable fixings and wall plugs. If screws and plugs are provided, ensure that they are suitable for your type of wall or window. If in doubt, consult a professional. Sometimes a third bracket is supplied for larger blinds. This should be positioned in the middle of the blind, unless the blind has ladder webbing for the slats in the centre, in which case you should move the bracket off centre. If you are happy with the size of your blind and it doesn't need to be cut to size, then you can skip the next few steps. With your brackets in place, measure the distance between them. This is the width your blind needs cutting down to. For the best look, we recommend removing equal amounts from both ends of the blind so that the blind is symmetrical. So for example, the window I've measured here is 110 centimetres and my blind is 120 centimetres, so I'll need to remove 10 centimetres, which is five centimetres from both ends. With the blind fully raised, Tightly bind both ends of the blind slats and bottom rail using low adhesive tape. You don't need to bind the head rail. Make a mark where you need to cut. And, using a hacksaw, carefully cut through the head rail, slats and bottom rail. Repeat for the opposite end. Simply place the trimmed blind into the brackets and close the bracket covers. If a centre bracket is used, the blind just rests on the bracket support. If your blind is supplied with a balance, trim this to size. Your blind will come with either double-sided sticky patches or plastic clips. Space them evenly along the head rail and then attach the valance. Cord stops are pre-installed 2.5 to 3 centimetres from the head tail. They need to be loosened but not untied. And move down the blind before it can be lowered. Lock in place to your desired drop. To reduce the blind drop, fully lower the blind, remove the buttons in the base rail and untie the knot in the lift cord. Remove the base rail and surplus slats. After replacing the bottom rail, cut off the excess ladder tape, ensuring 3.5cm surplus remains. Re-thread the lift cord and re-tie the knot in the end of the cord. Tuck the surplus ladder tape into the base rail, securing with the buttons. Last but not least, all cords are supplied with a safety cleat, which is positioned next to the cord on the wall. The devices should be fitted as close to the head rail as possible, at least 150 centimetres above the floor. Each time you operate your blind, the cord should always be wrapped around each cleat in a figure of eight, using the whole cord with the remaining minimal end draped over the cleat. And that's it. Thanks for watching.